All right, if we ever see, um, if we ever have a even power of anything, then the answer is always going to be positive, even if the base is negative, because then we would have an even number of negatives, which if we multiply it, would give us a positive. But um, if the power is a odd number, then we can have negatives out of that. Because any odd number of negatives being multiplied together would give us a negative answer. So this works the same way with these indices like this, or indexes, whatever the heck you want to call them, with these roots. If I have any odd root, odd, of, odd of root, I don't know, then I can have a negative answer out of that. If it is an even root, then I can't have negative of those. Okay? Whatever. So, this one here, we got uh, something, a negative to the power of an even power. Which means that in the end, it's really just going to be the same as 123 to the power of 20. Then we'll take the square root of that stuff. right because would have an even number of negatives so this is really the same as 123 to the power of 20 and then we're going to take that to the power of 1 20th so the index will always be in the denominator of that fraction which is an exponent okay so this is 123 to the power of 20 times 1 over 20 which is the same as 123. You could make it to the power of 1, but no real need for that. There's our answer.